How are we doing, sports bettors? Ghost Picks Team Justin here. Uh, we are on the eve of college football Saturday. I feel like it's almost like a sacred holiday in America. Uh, tomorrow we have an absolute monster play. Six unit banger going out uh, on the NCAA football. And we also have, I believe, two uh, three unit plays. Maybe one of them can be bumped up to a four if we get uh, the right line movement. Um, but have absolutely a loaded card tomorrow when it comes to NCAA football and I cannot wait for it. Um, earlier in the year we had a couple of tough breaks on lines being um, I don't want to say out of reach but they were very steep lines. You know you get these these games that um, it's kind of a big dog versus a, a, these smaller schools and they beat up on them and they end up taking their foot off the gas and give up a garbage touchdown at the end of the game. I mean that's the reason that these lines are here and we're playing them. Um, however, tomorrow, uh, my top play is a very, very close line, and it's one of those games where you're not going to have that scenario. I mean, obviously, it's not a guaranteed winner, but you're not going to get a team that takes their foot off the gas and you get burnt by a garbage touchdown when the second stringers are in. Uh, this game is a well within uh, the limits of a line. And I think that they're gonna. I think they're gonna double this lineup. I really do. I think they're gonna um, take it to these guys, and I think we're gonna get this one uh, pretty easily. Um, all you guys that are on the NCAA package, uh, we had another winner tonight. We took Wake Forest plus three and a half, and they ended up winning outright. Um, I definitely think this was Wake Forest showing that they are a very good team. Not only did they play, are they four and zero this year? Uh, they even played in the Mayo Bowl last year versus Wisconsin, and they didn't look terrible. I mean, I think they came in and they were on a five- or six-game winning streak to go into that bowl game, and obviously they ran into a hot Badger team that is always tough to play uh, when it comes to uh, later on in the season because they're so physical. Um, but Wake Forest, man, they look really good. I don't think Virginia, they're just they're not as tough as people think they are. Obviously, they laid an egg to start the year versus Virginia Tech. And they did not look good versus uh, North Carolina as well. They've kind of beat up on some lower competition. Uh, I'll say, I don't. Now that I think about it, I take that back. They did not play Virginia Tech uh, earlier this year. That was North Carolina. Sorry for the mistake there. Um, I'm going to catch it before you guys catch me in the comments. Um, but they did look bad versus North Carolina. I remember watching that game uh, last week. Uh, they did not look good versus North Carolina. I think they're just a team that. I, I mean, I don't want to say it was just, I just have a hard time with the ACC and football in general. Besides Clemson, uh, I think Miami is trash, and I think they'll be trash for a while. Um, before I get on my soapbox and start talking over here about uh, ACC football, I want to talk about baseball that we had today. Obviously, we had, so we had a four unit winner uh, in NCAA Wake Forest plus uh, three and a half. Ended up winning. I wish. I mean, I obviously I don't you can't tell these things, but having them on the money line would have been nice today. Um we had a nice plus three and a half winner. Uh baseball, we had a three unit play on the Blue Jays to take the run line as a plus money play. Kind of I don't want to call it a reach. I feel like the Blue Jays can kind of run line anybody. Um however the twins got the best of them today, ended up winning that game three to one. Um our free play is still going on. Uh we got the Mets playing the brew crew. Uh, doesn't look good for the Mets. Doesn't look good for us right now. Um, MLB coming off a huge six unit winner the um, day prior. We kind of toned it back a bit, um, making sure I didn't really love any of the plays today. I felt like the Blue Jays had a pretty uh, good shot at taking on the Twins, but the Twins have kind of hit a little bit of a stride here, uh, which is frustrating when you're going against them. Uh, but like I said, really, really, really into NCAA football tomorrow, and I I'm pretty excited about. Uh, the entire day as a whole. Um, probably the game that I'm the most excited about, and it's going to be my free play. I'm not just saying this because uh, I'm a Badger fan, but Badgers taking on Notre Dame tomorrow. Um, game starts at noon Eastern time. Uh, it is technically at Soldier Field, but it's still going to be a basically a home game for the Badgers. Um, looking at that game, I really feel like the Badgers have the opportunity here to cover the spread at six and a half. Um, it's minus six and a half in favor of the Badgers. Badgers, I mean, if you watch the Penn State game, they absolutely dominated. They had over, I think it was 300 yards of offense. They got down to the goal line. 
uh, three different times and had three turnovers inside the red zone to close that game out versus Penn State. Obviously, they were at home that game. Um, first game jitters. They had some mistakes. Penn State obviously has gone on to prove that they are a very good football team this year after coming off that win versus Auburn. Uh, I will say Notre Dame has not really impressed me that much. Uh, they obviously they are three and zero. They're the number twelve ranked team in the nation. Um, Jack Cohen has proven he's tough, uh, and they have some playmakers on that team. However, Florida State's nowhere near as good as people thought they were after week one, after they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Notre Dame. Um, they're just, they, I feel like they just have not passed the eye test yet. Um, I feel like Wisconsin can come in this game. They know they have to win it. If they want to make any noise in the Big Ten, this isn't a conference game. But still, you lose two games, and you can basically kiss your season goodbye in terms of making the college football playoffs. Right now, Wisconsin is 100% still in play for the college football playoffs. They win this game. They win out. They get to the Big Ten championship game like they have expectations to. Uh, they still have a shot. I love the Badgers in this game. And like I said, I'm not just being a homer. Watching line movement, uh, looking at other numbers that we're that are in play here, um, it's saying that the Badgers are the team here. Um, minus 6.5 uh, gets a little steep. But I feel like the Badgers can really grind Notre Dame down and get this to where we need it to be. Um, that's my free play for you guys tomorrow. Um, like I said, our NCAA day package is an absolute knockout tomorrow. I love the card. Hop on it. Subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here, guys. I appreciate all you guys here. Drop a comment. Let me know what you're watching tomorrow, who you're rooting for, and what your play of the day is. Good luck. God bless. Grind on and let's go.